He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Okay, let's check out a question regarding precipitation reactions. This asks, at 25 degrees Celsius, the solubility product of MgOH2, or magnesium hydroxide, is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 11. At what pH will magnesium 2 plus ions start precipitating in the form of magnesium hydroxide from a solution of 0.001 molar magnesium ions? So go ahead and check out some of my tutorials regarding solubility and the solubility product uh, if you need some review. And when you're ready, give this a try. Okay, first things first, let's write out the reaction describing the solubility product that we're given. So the solubility product of magnesium hydroxide, that means we're talking about magnesium hydroxide solid dissociating into magnesium 2 plus ions and hydroxide ions. So that's this reaction here, or this equilibrium. We know that it has very low solubility, but we know that a little bit of this substance is going to dissociate, and this must be balanced, so we know we need two hydroxide ions, because there are two hydroxides for every formula unit of the solid. Now we can also write the KSP expression, because we know that the KSP is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 11, and we know that that is going to be equal to the magnesium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration squared, because there is a coefficient of 2 in front of hydroxide in that equilibrium. Now we know that precipitation is going to occur when Q is greater than KSP, right? So we need to have some information about these magnesium ion and hydroxide ion concentrations in order to say when precipitation is going to occur. So let's plug in what we know. We have KSP, we have the magnesium ion concentration in solution. We know that we're 0.001 molar in magnesium ions. So let's plug that in as well. The only thing we don't know is the hydroxide ion concentration, and we will need to solve that in order to say something about pH. So let's solve for the hydroxide ion concentration. We just divide both sides by 0 0.001 and then take the square root, and we get 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4. So that is the hydroxide ion concentration that will be required in order to promote precipitation. But we don't want the hydroxide ion concentration. We need the pH. This is asking for a pH. So first, let's get the pOH. We know that that means the negative log of 10 to the negative 4, which will give us 4. We know that pH is going to be equal to 14 minus the pOH, and that is 14 minus 4, which equals 10. So we know that above a pH of 10, there will be sufficient hydroxide ions in solution so as to promote precipitation of magnesium hydroxide. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.